Okay, part A. So I've got to use logarithms to solve this. Well, I could use log to base 2, but a lot of calculators don't have that. So I'm going to, I'm going to start with the equation. I'm going to have to, well, it says use logarithms, but we'll have to anyhow to sort of bring the n minus 3 down. So I'm going to log it both sides, and I like writing it down both sides. Log 18,000, and that is actually log to the base 10. But you don't have to put that in if you're dealing in log to base 10. Um, it's just assumed. Got to bring down the n minus 3. Should put it in brackets because it's log n minus 3 times by log 2, and that equals log of 18,000. And so n minus 3 equals log of 18,000 divided by log 2. And so n minus 3 equals 14.1357. And so n equals 17.1357, which equals 17.1 to 3 significant figures as requested. Part B, and if it says part B, it actually means there's this very often no connection between the first part and second part. Otherwise, it would be an I and II. So I've got log, or is it is in log to base 2 now, log to base 2 of x plus log to base 2 of y equals 8. And this one here, I've got a log of a quotient, so I'm going to split this up, that becomes log to base 2 of x squared minus log of y, and that equals 7. And now I've got, so these are log to base 2, and this time it does need it in there, because otherwise it's assumed it's log to the base 10. And now I've got this my first equation, and that's my second equation. If I add them together, then log y's are going to disappear. Oh, but I first want to do something here. That 2 wants to come down the front, so I can be 2 log to base 2 of x minus log to base 2 of y, that equals 7. And now let's make this one my equation 2 at the bottom here. And if I do equation 1, plus my now equation 2, I have log to base 2 of x, and two more of them, that will be 3 log to base 2 of x, plus log y, minus log y will be nothing, and that will equal 15. So that means log to base 2 of x equals 5. And I don't want that, I don't know what x equals, so I need to get to log to base 2 to the inverse operation, which is raise 2 to the power of it, and that tells me that will just vaporize the log to base 2 and just leave it with x and I'll be 2 to the power 5 which is 32. But I want to solve some of these equations so I've got what x equals I now need to work out what y equals so I'm going to substitute that into the first equation log to base 2 of x or of 32 um, plus log to base 2 of y equals 8 and that first one is 5 and plus log to base 2 of y equals 8. So log to base 2 of y equals 3. Get rid of log to base 2. So that means I need to 2 that. And that will leave me y equals 8. So x equals 32, y equals 8. And that is question 8 done.